Hey, what's up guys? Thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. And today we're gonna do the LED test, just like we did last time. And now that I have the new vertical headlight kit installed, and then I went ahead and paid a little extra to get the built-in LEDs, we're gonna do the same twist and turn test to see if it's helped out um, a little bit better. And let's see how it goes. All right, so we're about 20, 30 feet. It's just a little bit after five. It is not high noon, but we do have the scooter facing straight into the sun. Let's see if the new LEDs are helping out. You guys let me know which side is on right now. Let's go. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. All right, we can do it again. On, off, and which side? One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Now we're gonna zoom in a little bit during editing because I know the fisheye lens on the GoPros distorts distance. 20, 30 feet. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Um, I think we're pushing about 35 to 45, maybe 50 feet on this one. Um, let's see how it does. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. My thoughts. The new built-in LEDs attached to the vertical headlight kit are a little bit brighter than the coastal LEDs. There are also more LEDs. What's that? Let's say seven, seven, four, 18, 20. It looks about 20 individual LEDs. 664, 16, 17, 18 individual LEDs versus just four individual LEDs. So there are more LEDs. So it's easier to be noticed. I think it's a little bit brighter or it's just the fact there are more LEDs. Maybe it's a little bit brighter because it's got this little cove in here. It's not creating a lot of sun, a lot of shade, but it's kind of like tucked away and grouped together in that little cutout. So I think that's helping a little bit. And also, I think now that we have this JDM vertical headlight kit, your focus is probably right here. That's where my focus is going. When I turn around, I know where the LEDs are, but my focus always seems to be drawn to the headlamp. And then I got a second headlamp, and then the LEDs are right next to the headlamp. So it's almost like I don't have to guess where the LEDs are anymore. They're gonna be next to the headlamp. And before, I had the bug-eyed look, and only one would be on and one would be off, and then the LEDs were tucked away underneath the bug-eyed look. I think now this is just a more sensible design um, and it's just a little bit adds a little bit more common sense and hopefully I think people will be able to see where the LEDs are, the fact that they're flashing and know which direction am I turning. Now is it bright enough? I'm gonna I'm leaning towards no okay and nothing is going to beat the sun i mean the scooter is facing directly at the sun the sun is super bright i think i read somewhere that it's a thousand lumens per meter squared and there's no way that these little 2018 leds are putting off more than a thousand lumens so no it's there are a few things out there that are going to shine brighter than the sun and the scooter is facing directly into the sun okay so we're definitely making a challenge out of this but if we add a little shade you see how much brighter they get if we add a little shade if we're at a different angle it's going to be easier for cars to see the leds and the fact that they're flashing so did it improve the safety from before i would say yes i have more leds there are more chances for a driver to spot which direction which direction I plan on t to take. And I think with this vertical headlight kit, the focus is on the main lamp, 
we have a secondary lamp and the LEDs are right next to the lamp. It's none of this like, here are the bug-eyed look, one is on, one is off, and then I have to look for the LEDs on the bottom. No, the LEDs are right next to the headlamp, which just makes it hopefully a little bit easier to find and a little bit easier for drivers to see which direction I'm turning, add a little shade, and definitely the LEDs get much brighter. So nothing is gonna beat the sun. Nothing is gonna shine brighter than the sun, all right? But we're definitely making a challenge out of this. We're putting it through his paces, and I think they definitely helped. Chris got it right. He made a comment on my Instagram page. It's definitely gonna make me safer, and that was the whole purpose of moving forward with the vertical headlight kit. Yes, I wanted the mod because it looks better, I paid extra for the LEDs because I wanted to feel safer as well. And I think it's doing his job. Like I said before in the unboxing video, you can get these mods from Chris at RC Scooters. He's got a Facebook page. He's got a website, rcscooters.com. Um, he's got an Instagram, I think is also rcscooters.com. I'll throw links in the description. LEDs, eh, they're not brighter than the sun, but this new design is helping a lot. And I think I'm gonna be a little bit safer on the roads. And at the end of the day, that's more important than looking good and looking cool is making it back home in one piece hit that like button if you guys agree with what i say hit that subscribe button if you want to check out future mods future videos hit that share button if you want to share with your friends that are modding their scooters and their zoomas until next time thanks for watching i appreciate spending your time with me guys <laughs>